All right, guys, go to boy32 here. Check it out. In my last video, we went over the lower parts build kit from Anderson and pretty much discovered that it's going to need some work to turn it into a good quality trigger system. Other than that, it's pretty much, yeah, par for the course for your lower, you know, $40, $49 lower parts kits. But the next step in the operation is we need to go ahead and get one of these. Now, this is also by Anderson. And I, uh, I tell you what, I, I've had pretty much a, a good amount of luck with these guys right here as far as with the, the buffer tubes and the springs and the buffers. And I didn't have any hesitancy in going ahead and ordering one, and that's why I did. But what I want to do is just go ahead and show you how this comes from the package if you ever get one of these things. And, wait, well, of course, it's going to come in a plastic bag. We'll go ahead and open it up. And... Pretty much, this is just aircraft grade aluminum, and this is a, just a regular old buffer tube. Mill spec, mill spec, straight, commercial. It has a slant to it, and also a little bit thicker. One of the things that when you take a look at one of these buffer tubes, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn that camera up a little bit so we can overexpose it. I want to show you some of the details here. Stand by. All right, guys, here's a couple really important things that I want you to pay attention to when you're talking about buffer tubes, and I've actually... I've had some from Bravo Company, and trust me, it was pissed off about it. But what happened is they got this thing, or we got it, and this slot here was milled at an offset. So you couldn't even put the stock on it because the plunger wouldn't go into the holes. Now, this is a one, two, three, four, five, six position tube. It is a mill spec tube. The diameter of a mill spec tube is 1.1. .1 Four two five, four two three, four two five, whatever. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, all right. So here's the important details. One, you want to make sure that this channel is centered up. Number two, just make sure the surface is smooth and clean and, and free of any kind of uh, irregularities. Now, secondly, or thirdly, I lost count. The threads here. Look at how they flatten out towards the tube side. Now, I'm not a big fan of that, but it is what it is. This whole tube set cost me like twenty four ninety five with the buffer, the spring, the ca uh, castle nut, uh, and the base plate. So you, beggars can't be choosers. So what I found in the past is a buffer tube is a buffer tube is a buffer tube, all right, with exception if you have some issues. Now, even ATI, I've had one of those, and you want to reach in. And one of the things that we did uh, on the last buffer tube and stock kit that I purchased for $37 was that uh, Trinity, I believe it was, the interior of the tube, the milling was horrible. It had ridges in there, and what that does is it makes a lot of noise. When you're pulling that charging handle back, you <laughs> like that. But as long as that tube, the interior of that tube is smooth, you shouldn't have a whole lot of noise, and also it's going to not wear on your uh, buffer spring as badly. So let's go ahead, put this down. That's what you want to look for. Make sure your channels are sit, uh, centered up. The finish is smooth, your threads are in good shape, you've got that little channel right there. We want to make sure that it's straight, the edges are clean, and the interior is smooth. All right, buffer spring. A lot of people like the JP Sonic capture springs. Hey, I'm, I'm okay with that, I'm cool, but I'm going to be honest with you, I have run the daylights and I've built a ton of ARs and I've put a couple of those in just as a whim because they really sound cool and they're nice. Stainless steel buffer spring is a buffer spring. All right, let's open up a couple other things. Next deal I'm going to take a look at is the buffer itself. Now, you can tell that's got the weight in there. It's not one of those super duper spikes, tacticals, heavy weight H2, H3. This should be right on the money at three ounces. Good looking finish. Let's go ahead and pull the scales out and check it out. All right, guys, pretty much a buffer like this, an M4 style AR buffer should be exactly three ounces, three ounces. And to be perfectly honest with you, there's not a whole lot of reasons, unless you want to start getting into the customizing and everything else, or you want to slow that cycling down, a three ounce buffer should work. So let's see. Three ounces on the money. Not a problem. Three ounces of work. And you know what's interesting? I've tried, I've done Ken Shot, the Silent Capture Spring, that really cool one. Uh, actually, it was a couple of pictures in the last couple of videos that we've done. And those are really cool. They really are. And they're unique. Do they do the job better? Uh, you know, I don't know. All right, 
let's take a look at this. This is another pet peeve of mine. This is a shiny surface. I'm not a big fan of that. Eh. Let's see what this base plate looks like. All right, it'll work. Whatever. <laughs> Like I said, these are not the critical parts parts of a gun for me. Critical parts are barrel, upper assembly, bolt carrier group. These guys right here are replaceable any day. Now a lot of people, what they'll do is when they put these things on, and we'll talk about this later on down the road, is they'll ask why I do not stake my castle nut. And, man, is this son of a bitch even going to fit? And I, but I don't. I don't stake my castle nuts because I carry a wrench with me. And typically I can tighten them up or I'll put a little blue Loctite on it, just a little bit on the threads, just to kind of gum it up a little bit and prevent it from coming back. Now here's another area that I, I need to make sure of, and this is one of my pet peeves as well. When you go to put this thing in to the lower, I don't have the lower with me right now, but if you put that lower in and you go to tighten this thing up, Sometimes this, this thing, the buffer tube will actually turn and this little pin right here, this little knob section right there is not big enough to keep the tube from turning and it'll cross over into the, to the damn threads and I've had that happen before and it's really not a good thing. But anyway, that's it. Not a bad little deal. I'm not a big fan of the shiny castle nut. Whatever. It could be finished a little better. It doesn't feel like steel. It feels not well, steel. Let me see something here real quick. 0.6 ounce. Is that's steel? That's not aluminum. I was just kind of worried about that. All right. Well, that's it, guys. This is the Anderson. This is their buffer tube kit, spring and buffer. Let's see here. Put that in there. Oh, another thing that I'm a pet peeve of is that does the spring tie onto the buffer? And this one does. If you remember that Trinity, it did not. I did not like that. This is how it should be. It should hold on to that buffer right there. Let me play music. <laughs> Somebody made a comment along on one of my other videos when I was doing this, and I don't know why. Yep. I mean, it was like, what in the world were they? I was doing that, and somebody was making comments. <laughs> All right, Anders Machine, this is it. Guys, if you have any comments, please don't hesitate. Comment down below if you have any questions. Please let me know. I'll try to answer your questions. We're going to go ahead and do that uh, lower parts build. I'm going to show you the best and easiest way to put that thing together, the most efficient way way of putting it together and the most and the best way to keep from marking it up all right there's been a lot of experience putting these things together and a lot of fun it's Coda boy 32 support the boys in blue as always god bless america god bless those men and women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom because freedom is not free if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so it's Coda boy 32 stand by for the picture show